What's up guys and welcome back to SnowRunner. Today is an incredibly exciting day. We got our hands on a tank. This is the Tuz 420 Tatarine, Tatarin, Tatarin. I, I don't know what to call it, but uh, this thing is a monster and it is by far the best scout vehicle in the game. Now, I do wanna show you guys where the location to find this thing is, so I'm gonna put some gameplay on screen right here. I figured it would be easier for me to just go and get it, get it back to the garage, cause you have to like refuel it and fix it up and stuff like that. And then we'll take this back to Zimnogorsk or however you say it, the last part of Russia, and we're gonna explore the last part of Russia in the tank today. So I hope you guys are ready for this. It's gonna be pretty insane, but uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we're gonna check out our customization first. Looks like for engines, we only have one. It's the absolute pinnacle of motorized vehicle propulsion systems. So that sounds pretty good to me. Gearbox is a special one that we can't change. Suspension, we're not gonna be able to change. Tires, we cannot change. Winch, gonna be able to put the, uh, the autonomous scout winch on there. So we're gonna be able to flip ourselves back over if we happen to, uh, we happen to fall over. Frame add-ons, oh, we've got a roof rack, okay. Take a little bit of extra fuel and uh, and some repair points with us. Visuals, looks like we can have a, uh, a beacon, we can have external horns, a sun visor. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking the horns look pretty cool. I'm gonna go with those. Rooftop, gonna be able to go with some fog lights. I'm down for that. And then for rims, we are not gonna be able to change the rims. Finally, for our color, looks like we have a bunch of, of normal colors. We've also got, uh, we've got the, the traditional kind of woodland camo here. We've got blue and white, which looks pretty nice. We've got kind of like a, a desert tiger camo here, which is kind of cool. Not tiger, but just like geometric type camo. Ooh, I like the the white, red, and gray a lot there. We've got the green. I'm, I'm thinking we go with this, white and kind of like a bluish gray, and then the red. I'm gonna go with that. That looks that looks pretty good to me. And uh, unfortunately, that's about all we could do. Not a lot of customization on this thing, but uh, I think it's I think it's gonna be okay. One thing I do want to check. Let me see what these tires say. Poor on road, excellent off road, and mud. All right, gonna be interesting. So let's go ahead and leave our garage here. Oh, this thing is a beaut. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna skip ahead to afternoon time so we can get a, a real look at this thing. Take a look at the inside. Wow, dude. This is insanity. So much room for activities. We've got fire extinguishers. We've got all kinds of stuff in here. Don't even know half of what I'm looking at. Look at that tiny little mirror there. I didn't know you could stick your head out the window. That's kind of cool. All right, well, I'm gonna say let's, uh, let's go ahead and get going. Looks like the engine is in the back there, which is pretty cool. And uh, we're gonna see we're gonna see what old girl is all about. I'm hoping we're gonna be able to get a, a oh shoot, we can't. I was gonna say, I was hoping we were gonna be able to get a scout fuel trailer, but I guess we can't tow anything with this thing. So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're, we're probably gonna grab another vehicle, we'll put a fuel trailer on it, and then we're gonna tow this thing over to, uh, to Zimnogorsk. A Royal BM-17, we haven't seen this thing in a long time, so this is gonna be kind of fun. Do we want the maintenance frame out on? That's gonna give us, a few more like maintenance points and some fuel. I actually feel like that's a that's a pretty good pretty good idea. So let's go ahead and grab this guy. Looking pretty good. And this is going to be our tow vehicle, just to kind of save save on fuel a bit and kind of get us out to the point where we need to start exploring. So let's go ahead and back this up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we are going to attach our winch from the rear portion to the front portion. Looks good, and we are. Uh, we're good to go, baby. Here we go. Towing our tank on out of here, and let's uh, let's go get to Zimnogorsk. So we're going to have to go out. We're going to have to go all the way across the top here and get through to the quarry. And then we're going to have to go through the quarry to be able to get to the Zimnogorsk, uh, you know, kind of archway, tunnel, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to have quite a long, uh, quite a long, pretty simple transitionary period we've already been oh wow that, that just took a lot of damage we've already been through all of this area a ton so i'm probably just going to skip on ahead and uh, i'll see you guys uh, once we're at zimnogorsk zimnogorsk baby this is uh one of the final frontiers i think we have one section of alaska that we haven't checked out yet and then we also i think there might be one in michigan yeah definitely one in michigan that we haven't checked out but um this is going to cross 
cross Russia off our list, baby. I'm gonna kind of use, uh, gonna kind of use this truck as, as like a mobile fuel station. We're gonna put it right in the center of the map. Leave it there. And if we ever need, uh, oh shoot, that was not good. If we ever need any fuel or, or repair parts or anything like that, we're gonna be able to come back to it. Probably gonna be fine without it, but it's, it's better to be safe than sorry. I say we just kind of, let's, let's put it here. This is fairly close to the middle. We're kind of getting into some nasty, uh, nasty territory. Let's go ahead and uh, let's stop our engine, change our truck, and let's check out where we're going to be going, baby. Here we go. So, you guys can see this is the line that we took to actually pick up the, uh, the, the Tuz here. It was up here on this hill, right up in this area. So that's all we've uh, all we've explored so far. Looks like we've got a couple of routes. We've got one down the east side over here. This route's going to go straight over here to this watchtower. It's not really too much on this map. Wondering if we're going to have some hidden vehicles and stuff, though. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. Let's, uh, I say, should we, let's, let's bring her right and let's, let's go to this watchtower. Take our handbrake off and we are, uh, we are going to make way, baby. Oh my goodness. All right, since we're right here, we may as well, let's go ahead and refuel. We're going to take it out of the BM-17, put it in our Tatarine here. Roof rack's already, already all set up and good to go. All right, here, here we go, baby. This is it. It's gonna be our first time using this thing. I'm gonna skip ahead to uh, to morning time so we can have all day to be able to go exploring and, and kind of work on our objectives here. And my, oh my. So it looks like all wheel drive and diff lock are always on. We cannot turn those off. We do have low. We don't have the, the positive and negative low uh, gear abilities oh shoot dangerous water level oh shoot we might actually be in a little bit of trouble here we might do a little bit of damage nope we're good dude are you oh we are doing a little bit of damage but we made it through it dude we were completely on <laughs> we were pretty much completely submerged and we just made it right through that all right now we're gonna want to uh want to take a right here this is pretty much the exact route that we took to be able to get this thing kind of come come in full circle to uh to be back here it's like the front two axles turn the rear two do nothing but just push this thing forward oh my goodness dude some of the deepest nastiest mud some of the craziest water levels that we've seen straight up going up the side of this cliff right here are we gonna be able to make it oh shoot come on just riding the ridge line here didn't take the best route on this one but she's gonna bail us out baby come on Get up there. There it is. That's what I'm talking about, dude. This thing is a monster. I love it. Actually, have some really nice, uh, really nice visuals here as well. Full 180 degree unobstructed view through all these windows and stuff. This thing is just cruising, bro. We've got a pretty big fuel tank. I will say we are using quite a bit of fuel. You know, eight to ten liters a minute, depending on where we're at. So. That's a little concerning, but, uh, I mean, if you're just slogging through this stuff, I don't think you're, you're too worried about fuel economy, baby. I'm trying to make it to that tower over there. Looks like we're about 300 units away. Dude, this is insane. Look at that. Like, the mud is halfway up our tires, and we're rolling through it like it's nothing. We're rolling through it like it's a paved road. This is insanity. Coming along through here. I certainly hope we don't have too many objectives in this section of the map. Like after we uncover it and, and you know, discover all the, the hidden vehicles and stuff like that, I, I really hope we don't have to come back up here and do a bunch of missions because I don't, I don't know that we're gonna be really getting through this terrain very easily. My goodness, dude. I just, I, I am so totally infatuated with this thing. I feel bad because I, I liked our Yar. I really liked our Khan. I liked our Hummer. But look at how fast this is going through it. I think all of those except maybe the Hummer could have made it through this. But definitely not this fast. Like this, this is incredible. All right, we're going to want to take a left here. And then a left when we get to the next, uh, the next intersection. This thing, it just, it, it's like a hot knife through butter, bro. This is insanity. Some of the, the craziest terrain we've had. Are we going the right way? Yeah, we're going the right way. I was gonna say, I couldn't tell if we are supposed to go out back in the trees there. But it, it, it's like, not only does it make it through it, but it makes it through it with ease. 
It makes it through it going quickly. The exhaust points are, are kind of cool too. Up there, kind of pointed off to the side. The, the back roof, unique. Oh, I just, I love this thing, man. The one, one windshield wiper going straight down middle of the windshield that's pretty cool see what our headlights look like nothing nothing too crazy normal headlights I guess I will say that the turning is not the greatest it does kind of I don't know we, we are in tough terrain so you can't really judge the turning but I feel like it, it doesn't it doesn't really like to stop from going in a straight line so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's do a little little off-roading here looks like we only used about a about a tenth of a tank a little bit more than that ninth probably less than that but um not not too bad so that's our first one there looks like we've got an upgrade part up here near the farm i'm thinking we're probably going to want to go grab that so let's go ahead and uh let's head out of here go back down the way we came we're going to come across this way and get that oh lordy okay i'm going to try going where uh where no no tuz 420 has gone before ha, 420 let's get it just roll on over these rocks like it's no big deal. My goodness, dude. All right, I think we want to take a right here and just pretty much follow this all the way around. Let's just go straight across here. Let's see Let's see how she does. I almost would have challenged this thing into getting stuck. I don't even know if it's going to be possible. This is just such an insane vehicle, bro. I understand why they hit it in the most inaccessible part of the hardest to get to map in the game. You know what I mean? Like this... If we would have had this the entire time, we wouldn't have ever had to try. We could have just rolled through anything and everything. Look at that, dude. That is insane. All right, looks like we've got some, some slabs here, some concrete slabs. Be able to cruise right up, and I think this upgrade part's going to be over here on our left, right? Definitely going to have to bring some supplies out here to be able to rebuild this barn. Not necessarily looking forward to that. No clue how we're going to get that done. I think we're going to have to unlock some more heavy trucks. I think that's going to be going to be the key for moving forward in this series. But let's go ahead and grab this. Raised suspension for the Tega 6436. Sounds good to me. So let's go ahead and uh, let's back out of here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go out this way. We're going to come around, go around, go around. We're going to grab this upgrade part over here. There's another upgrade part over here. And then we're going to want to go get this tower. It's kind of kind of my plan of attack for now. Shouldn't be too much of a uh, too much of a problem for old girl here. Love that we already have the roof rack too, dude. Having the extra fuel and stuff with us. Granted, it's not much. I think it's about a a quarter tank. Right, the third of a tank, maybe. See what I mean here? Oh, come on, girl. My goodness, sometimes she just she doesn't want to turn. I think it's just because you get kind of bogged down in the mud. It's not really a lot you can do about it. I feel like we're, we're skidding on ice sometimes, though. Like I'm I'm pulling hard to the left, and it's just it's it's going right. But uh, that's that's all right, man. So I'm thinking, I mean, let's let's give it a shot. Whatever, YOLO. We're gonna try just going straight through the woods here. Got a feeling, uh, got a feeling there's not gonna be much we can throw this thing's way that's gonna get it in trouble. Although, and we've said that in the past, we've definitely gotten gotten into some some pretty bad situations. Coming on through here. Looking good. We're gonna be able to split these trees. Nope. Okay. It's kind of pushing us off to the left. No big deal. Got a bit of a watery patch in here. Hopefully it's not too deep. We're good to go. Let's grab this. See what it is. It's a uh, raised suspension for the Step 310E. So that's actually that is a. I was looking at the map. That is a truck. This truck recovery mission right here. Step 310E. That's gonna be something we're gonna be able to go back and get. Ooh, is that a? That must be like a heavy truck kind of or something. We'll see. We'll see how good we can tow her out. So now I think we're probably going to want to uh, probably head out to here. Bank a left, come to here. Bank a right, go into town. Be able to grab this upgrade. It's going to be our, our next objective. So let's, uh, let's take steps to complete our goals. Little by little, we're going to get it done. Come on, girl. I am getting a little bit nervous. The fuel should be fine. 
we should be all right. My plan is to kind of go through here, see if there's any other upgrades over here, hit this tower, kind of collect all the upgrades in this area, and then we could kind of make a, a loop back up, get some more fuel, and then go to the truck recovery. It's probably going to be our best course of action. Being nervous is, is always good, that's for sure. Come on, slang that turn, baby, my goodness. She's not quick, she's not nimble, but she certainly gets it done. Some very dilapidated looking buildings out here, man. I don't think, it, think anybody's lived in this town for a very long time. Look at this intersection, completely flooded. Got a bit of a bridge there though, so that's good. I was testing the waters to see if we later brought a truck through here, if we were gonna be able to make that. Looks like, uh, looks like we were able to. Oh, this is just, this is just awful, bro. Look at this thing crawl though, my goodness. It's like it's just completely unaffected. Just another day in the Tatarin's life, bro. Just, just cruising and chilling. All right, we're gonna want to go out there. Best bet's probably gonna be to go to here, bank a right, come through here, and then hit another right. Yeah, I don't think going through this town center is gonna be a very good idea for our big rigs. But I guess we'll see what happens. Ooh, ooh, this is not good. Come on, bro. Wow. This thing. I don't think it's amphibious because we, we nearly sunk in the first, the very first bridge crossing that we did. But I almost feel like it could be amphibious, bro. I feel like, I feel like you could make this thing float. Grab this upgrade for the Azov. No way, dude. We just got a new engine for the Azov. Also for the Voron Garad. All right. I don't know why I just said Grad like that. The Voron Garad. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, is that a, that's a fuel trailer, I think. Are we going to be able to refuel on that? Calm down, buddy. Is that an action? That's got to be a working trailer, right? Problem is I don't see a hitch or anything. Let me see if I can... Can I refuel, please? Can I... Nope. That's not actually a fuel trailer. Dude, that's like an oasis. Like a mirage in the desert. You think you see this oasis? It's got water and palm trees and women with fruit, but... It's not actually there, it's just your mind playing tricks on you. Next up, we're gonna go, we're actually gonna go up here, right in this little section of trees. We're gonna bank a left on this main road. So this is the location of a, a hidden part. Some maps will have anywhere from, you know, one to three to maybe even more, I'm not sure, hidden parts. We definitely haven't gotten all of them, but since I found out that these exist in the game, I've started kind of looking them up to make sure we don't miss them. I, you know, Technically, you're probably supposed to just kind of scour every inch of the map and, you know, find it yourself eventually, but your boy has has things to do. We've got a, uh, a schedule to keep. We've got a promise to our clients, and, and we, can't, we can't be out here doing stuff like that. So we're going to see if we can get up this. Are we stuck? I think we might be stuck on a rock right here. Oh, boy. Okay. It's definitely, definitely not liking it, but it looks like we're going to make it. Come on, girl. You guys think we can deattach and then reattach real quick? Oh, baby. Spider-Man web slinging out here. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Just climb the cliff and we're going to, wow. Okay. Upgrade location. What is this? Truck list for the Yar 97 and the Con 39 Marshall. So this is going to be a new engine for our uh, our scout vehicles which is going to be pretty uh pretty useful all right i'm just i'm i'm gonna yolo mcdolo it here and we're just gonna gonna back right off this thing i'm gonna tank bro Are you kidding me it's not you can't even say that's a yolo you know you're gonna be fine but um yeah so some some maps have those you can find like guides and tutorials on you know guide websites and stuff if you guys want to check it out yourself i think i think i found this one on reddit oof we just took a lot of damage to our suspension right there. All right, now what we're gonna do is I say we, uh, should we go through here or should we go down the main road? I guess we can go through here. Let's let's bank a left. We're gonna take this road down, loop it on around through the, the dark undiscovered area, and we're gonna make our way to our next, uh, 
our next tower here, so we'll see what we've got going on. Looks like we're kind of getting a bit low on fuel, approaching the halfway mark, but we're more than halfway through our objectives, pending how many upgrade parts we're going to have to go through hard, hard areas to find, so we, we should be all right. Dude, this thing is just so sick. <laughs> Let me put these lights on. Look at the, the double roof racks. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, where do we want to go from here? Ooh. I didn't even think about this. This is probably going to be a problem, huh? So there's a bridge we're definitely going to have to fix eventually. I'll accept it for now, but we're, we're not actually going to do it yet. I'm going to go down here. Let's try to see if we can get a visual on a good spot to cross the water. Screw it, bro. We're in a tank. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it, baby. I hope this isn't deep. Oh, we're good. Whew. Took one thing of engine damage. <laughs> this thing is <laughs> All these trees are just moving out of our way. Rivers that are up past our windshield. We can just roll right through and take very minimal damage. Guardrails. What's a guardrail? Sorry. Haven't heard of one of those things before. This is outrageous. So we've got that. Looks like... Oh, shoot. Our, our tower is going to be down, down to the right. Looks like there's walls there. We're gonna be able to. We might be able to get through those trees to be able to get to it. Gonna try to make our way to this lookout tower over here. You can see it up there, behind the trees. Trailer store. Again, kind of unfortunate. You can't tow anything with this. Our other scout vehicles, you could tow like a little fuel trailer or something like that. But we aren't gonna be able to do that here. Fence? What's a fence? I'm sorry. Are you trying to block me from going somewhere? Bit. I'm a tank, baby. There it is. Our final, final lookout tower. So let's see what we've unlocked here. Any upgrade points? Looks like there's, there's nothing really to be seen. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go up here, and then we're gonna go up through here. Oh, there's one more lookout tower. Shoot. That just wasn't in the dark area before, so I didn't think about it. Okay. So we're, we're good. We should probably. We should probably grab this mission right here, actually, before we go. But yeah, we're, we're going to go through. We're going to go up through that dark part, make sure there's nothing uh, nothing of interest there. And um, hit the last tower, go around, and try to save this truck. Dude, I just, like, I, I love the idea of driving one of these. I've got to drive one of these at some point. This is just so insane. Just seeing all these switches and stuff on the dash, the giant star there in the middle... You just know that there's nothing that's going to be able to... Like, you have the best vehicle on the road. No matter where you want to go, you can get there. This is the ultimate zombie vehicle. If I choose one vehicle for the zombie apocalypse, this would be it. You can go wherever you want to go. No zombies are going to be able to get inside. No humans are going to be able to, you know, shoot you or get inside or anything like that. This thing is just insane. You got the power to get through the wilderness and the broken down buildings and broken society that lays remnant across the wasteland. I don't even know what I'm saying here, dude. I'm, I'm not even, like, I'm not even following roads. Like, normally you have to kind of look for bridges. You gotta watch out for big puddles like that right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a tank, bro. Just, just kidding. I, I don't, I don't actually care what you, what you say to me right now. Deep mud? What's that? just roll right through it. Looks like we've got a little outpost out here. Might be a new mission. You guys know I like to like to grab those missions as we roll by, because then like next time we come back here, we could choose a couple of missions that we know what supplies we need, and we could bring a, a big vehicle in and, and have those supplies ready and all good to go to just instantly be dropped off. Oh, this is an abandoned car mission. What do you get here? Um... 200 bucks and 60... Oh, well, technically... Oh, that's a... Is this a garage? No, that's not a garage. I know you can build a garage up here. I'm just not sure where. We could... We might as well... Let's just tow this thing up there. Come here, little buddy. You're coming with me. Nope, not the tree. Oh, shoot. Okay. You're, you're coming with me. We're, we're going to complete a mission right now. 
the whole maneuvering thing is is not our best all right so let's go ahead and attach a winch we're gonna attach it to our backside attach it to its front side you're coming with me little little guy I'm not gonna be able to make this turn though so we're just gonna go deliver this thing up top kind of close to where we were going anyway we might as well make a little bit of extra money test the towing capacity of, of old girl here she doesn't actually have a tow hitch but she does still have a winch that's cool how the winch is coming out of the back bro that's the engine compartment back there. Come on around this. Oh, shoot. See what I mean? Sometimes we just can't, can't quite make these turns. We're good. I can't wait to bring this thing new back. Think about this thing back in Michigan. Think about how we were struggling with that old Silverado back in Michigan. And think about what we'd be able to do with this thing out there. Just going to be cruising. Bro, look at this nonsense. We might actually get stuck here, if you want me to be honest. JK, we're good. Probably not the best idea to, to cut that corner a little bit close, but we're fine. All right, so we're going to go left here. We're going to go to here. Bank a left, hit this. Go here, get some fuel. Drop off the recovery vehicle. Make our way through here. Come on, old girl. Really makes me nervous when we can't quite make that. I don't want to end up, you know, flipping and rolling down this hill. I feel like this thing would be a turtle. Once it got turned upside down, she, she ain't coming back. She ain't flipping back over. It's the one weakness, but... Probably a pretty good weakness to have. Turtles are... Turtles are legit. Got our final watchtower here. Let me just scale a mountain of rocks real quick. I just, I love that the rocks don't even bother it, bro. The rocks mess with so many other vehicles in this game, and it's just rolling right through them. Just like every other obstacle in the way. So we completed that. Do we have, oh, shoot. Are you kidding? There's upgrade parts back here we didn't have marked. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to go through with our plan. Let's get some more gas, and then we're just going to have to come back this way. Oh, oh, you're upside down. That's fine. It's, it's no big deal. Oh, shoot. We should probably back this up. <laughs> you know, I'm not really going to be bringing this thing back in, uh, in good shape. I hope you understand. But that's okay. And refuel right here. We're going to take it from the, uh, the BM-17 and put it in our Tuz. Put it in our, uh... Our Tartarin as well. Ooh, that that took pretty much everything from the BM-17. I put some back in there. I think we might actually need the BM-17 to be able to complete that rescue mission. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think I think it might want us to, to repair that truck rather than, uh, than just tow it out. So we might need the extra fuel and repair points and stuff from the BM-17. Ooh, are you going to be able to make this, bro? Yep, he made it. I do believe that's our objective right there, and look at that! Our next objective that we definitely want to do is going to be the truck recovery. You seem to be a very resourceful person. There's an abandoned truck in the North Swamp that has been there for some time. Maybe you could fix it and find a use for it. So I believe, yeah, it's going to want us to fully repair and fully fuel it. So I think what our best bet's going to be, let's, let's go back. Ugh, I hate this. We're going to go back, we're going to get these two upgrades, then we're going to come back through here, and we're going to have to get get our, our BM-17 across to get to that truck to be able to fix it up. I don't even know if it's going to have enough on it to, to finish it. But we might as well, you know, kind of get it started. And then next time we come around these parts, we're going to be able to, to finish it up real nice and, and complete the mission. But uh, overall, pretty, pretty successful day with this thing. I'm blown away at how good it is. Let's go get these last couple of upgrade parts and see what we're working. Oh! Dude, did you guys see the mud and water go over the top of the, the hood right there? <laughs> or I guess that's not really the hood. It's the frunk. What would you call it? The front trunk? I don't even know what's under there. I don't know if it's a trunk or what. It probably is. I feel like it'd be a good spot for some storage. So we're going up to our first objective right here. Gonna get this guy. Watch out for all the tree stumps. Just kidding, I'm a tank. I don't need to watch. Oh, shoot. Well, we kind of do still need to watch out for tree trunks, to be honest. Can you get me a... Oh, no, dude. 
Okay. This... This may have been a grave mistake. Nope, we're good. Okay. Yeah, seriously, just just watch out for the tree trunks, Trev, because those things will... Those things will ruin your life. Uh, Tega 6436 uh, engine upgrade. I've heard the Tega's pretty good. You guys told me the Tega was super solid. Uh, we just need to get the, the lift kit and a couple of the things on it, so... Slightly better engine is definitely going to be a good look. Now we're going to go pretty much just kind of straight across. We've got some rocks in our way. If we kind of go more to the left, let's go over this way. And then we can go straight to the upgrade. And then we can see if we can save this truck. So we're just going to kind of continue through the woods here. You know, it really, it cuts down on your commute time when you don't have to worry about roads. It's pretty, pretty nice in that regard. Make it through here. Roads or rocks or mud or anything. Just kind of set a straight line. Make sure you don't fall off a cliff and it's it's going to get there. No matter what you put in front of it. This is just... It, this makes the game too easy. It's a good thing it's a scout. If this was a tow vehicle and it, it worked like this, like a, a heavy truck or an off-road truck or anything, that would, that would not be good. Go ahead and grab this. Looks like it's an upgrade for the Collab. Couple of Azovs, the Dan 96 320. I've heard that thing's pretty good as well. All right, so now what we're gonna do? Let's uh, let's go ahead and head down here, and then we're gonna bang a right. We're gonna go back, and we're gonna try to get both of our vehicles across this river. Now I know we did get the the con across the river to be able to unlock this uh, this this tank. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the BM-17 across the river. At least not without help. Technically, we could run the BM-17 down here. But I don't I don't think that's a good idea. Really, the only bridge crossing is down here, and we're not ready to cross that. So, I think crossing the, the deep river is going to be our only option. I'm going to put this tank on the other side. Actually, we should probably just try to tow it with the tank. I was thinking put the tank on the other side in case we have to winch it, but let's let's just pick up the BM-17 and tow it. How you doing, son? You're you're coming with me, all right? You you've been detained, LA Noir style, baby. Here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, let's let's attach our winch from our back point to the front of the BM-17. Go ahead and pull him forward. Get him as close as possible to us. Come on, old old friends. Gonna have to get you through that tree. Dude, even our winch works slow on this thing. All right, you should be good there. So we're gonna be crossing the uh, crossing the Nile here, my friends. Uh, I I really hope you don't take too much damage. Ultimately, it, it honestly it doesn't matter. We're uh, I mean this is our last objective. We're just gonna recover back home after this one, so we should be all right. Wow. 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 Oh, she's going to take a little bit of damage. But as long as we get her through quick, she should be all right. Yeah, we're good. No big deal at all. Okay, what's the quickest route there? Looks like going up and around. I mean, technically we can go e either way, but I, I think up and around is going to be the best. Low and slow. Just kind of slang some mud and get her done, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, this isn't the direction I wanted to go. I'm telling you, sometimes when she gets in those ruts, she just she just kind of slides. It's a bit slipperier than it looks, especially towing a big old service trailer. BM-17 behind us. I do miss the BM-17. We're probably gonna end up going back and, and using old girl a bit more. In the upcoming episodes gotta decide what we want to do next obviously Russia is far from over we have a lot more to do out here kind of also tempted to try to go back and check out Alaska and maybe even Michigan maybe we'll do maybe next episode we'll do one more set of Russian missions or maybe we'll just go straight back to Alaska I don't know I kind of want to do one more set of Russian missions just because we're, we're Kind of unlocked quite a bit this episode. We'll see if we can... I know you can build a garage out here, so I, I'd like to try to build the garage out here, and then maybe after that we go back to Alaska. We bring this thing with us. We, uh, do our thing. 
like a chicken wing. You know, kind of explore the, the, the last part of it. Maybe explore the last part of, of Michigan as well. The world is kind of our oyster. I think we're going to get a DLC map for this game soon, so that's going to be a lot of fun once that comes around. It's also, a, a, there's quite a few vehicles you can mod. Like, you can mod a cyber truck in here. You can do quite a few different fun things. So we're going to, oh shoot, we just knocked it down in the water a bit more. I really don't want to tow or don't want to tip this thing. <sighs> Bit sketch, but it, it's fine. We're we're used to it. You know what? Let me change trucks real quick. Okay. Uh, let me let me go ahead and uh, we're gonna repair. We're gonna repair from the maintenance add-on to the step 310E. Let's go ahead and do that. That's gonna be all we could do so far. We need 240 more repair points. We can also refuel. Let's refuel to the step 10E. We're gonna use our maintenance frame add-on. We could fully fuel it up. So it's fully fueled now. We gotta hope that we have enough repair points in our uh, in our other thing. Let's go ahead and uh, and change trucks over. We're gonna go to repair. We're gonna do from the roof rack source to the 310E. We're not gonna have enough, bro. We're at 90%, 90 more repair points required. Unfortunately, there's nothing we're going to be able to do. So we're going to go ahead and recover this on back to the drowned lands. So there you guys have it. Successful mission. Nearly got this new Step 310E. I'm going to look it up. I don't know if it's good or not. Might have to go back there in the next episode and grab it. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, like I said, I think next episode we're going to do a couple more Russian missions. And then after that, it's going to be time to, uh, to maybe go back and explore Alaska a little bit. The world is kind of our oyster at this point. So... Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.